story. Yeah. <sighs> Here's a transition. Yeah. <laughs> well, it sure does do, doesn't it? Smells like rain, cries like winter. Smells like rain, tastes like thunder. Smells like rain. Christmas here in the Northwest. Everything is. All the evergreens are evergreen. I just want to send this one out to all the moms out there. <laughs> Oh, 
water is fine. Running down south, best to bring your umbrella. It's Christmas down south, we'll be amazing dance in line. Cello, Sue Tilly on vocals, I'm Chris Bingham, we are Bone Poets Orchestra, and there's more to come. So I thought, so I thought, it's an interesting anniversary, it's an interesting anniversary here in our little, our little country, the, the, uh, the land of the deluded and the home of the B-52. <laughs> About 43 years ago this evening, a group of burglars, very sneaky little burglars, 8, 10, 12 burglars that we don't know entirely because not all of them have come out, but some of them broke into a little FBI office in Media, Pennsylvania. 
And they didn't go for the weapons. They went for all of the files. And they took the files to a farmhouse and they sorted them all out and they found stuff. They found stuff that no one had been able to force out of the pockets of the FBI because J. Edgar Hoover, way back in 1924, after leading a thing called the Palmer Raids where 100,000 people were rounded up without warrants and arrested and detained and in many instances tortured and a lot of times deported. This is in the land of the free here. The guy who did that was made the director of the FBI and he knew where all the bodies were buried. So if anybody ever in any portion of the government went against anything that he had to say, he could shut them up. And he did this for almost 50 years. One guy in this country for almost 50 years. And what happened when we found out about this stuff from the FBI was that we found out that they had been keeping lists of anybody that was like to the left of Richard Nixon. <laughs> I, mean, it, I mean, hundreds of thousands of people, they, hundreds of thousands of agents, and their paid minions, basically, were keeping tabs on everybody that didn't agree with J. Edgar Hoover. And it went so far as for the FBI to plan assassinations and to sow a lot of distrust between leftist groups that were peaceable people. And they came out, they found a little thing, a reference to a thing called COINTELPRO, which meant counterintelligence program in FBI speak. And this was going on all through, all the way until J. Edgar Hoover died in 1973, I think, or two. And then we found out about this stuff. So I like to bring it up because I just read this book about it called The Burglars, where they go into great detail about what this country has been. We have never, ever been close to the land of the free. For the last hundred years, we have always had an internal police force that comes so close to the Stasi in Eastern Germany that we should be fucking ashamed that we allow that to happen here in this country. Do not ever let anybody delude you with the notion that we are somehow better on that score. Um, so, on that low note, I thought I'd sing this song. Turn the lever, guide the spinning wheel, digging where you are, so the fertile sea. Pull the lights up, put your roots down, find and fill a need. If you're gonna change it, change the world 
turn the light on, shine your light in, hold the steady beam, digging where you are, walk the living land, taste the water, walk the valley, know it like your hand. suppose I came off a little forceful. <laughs> I probably didn't, I didn't, probably didn't mean it. Not you, <laughs> never. <laughs> it is kind of an amazing book, though. It is. Uh, it's it makes you feel like that. <laughs> it's insane. But, on that bright note... Skip the fair. I've lost my patience for the scam. They 
steal or buy the votes to the halves from them that don't. They shear us like we're frightened lamb. And it's a strange world they're tripping through. They think us like blind and fool. If you wanna save the world for me and you, better change the rules. They make them up as they go. just political theater tonight. <laughs> hey, how about that Crimea, eh? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck, you know. You know the joke. Uh, it's like, yeah, we're just sitting on the fucking abyss of World War III. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> well, it is ecstasy in the ruins, after all. Okay. Yeah, we kind of, you know... <laughs> You gotta be really careful about the titles you choose for records. Because you live with them for a long time, you know? We did this one record called Angel and the Hanged Man. And you know, the hanged man is supposed to be a symbol of transformation, and that's what we were kind of thinking about. Yeah. But it's also a symbol of being in limbo. Limbo. Deep, deep for limbo. Forever. We stuck in limbo, limbo <laughs> for six months in Seattle and three months in Guildford, England, of all places, to get stuck with no money. Interesting times. It got better. It does. It gets better. Of course, better. <laughs> How does the song go? Once 
expanding universe trust that brain behind your eyes to carve a space for us within the universal mind and if it's up to us to bring some balance back let it not be said it's courage that we lack You know you want to try it. We all do, secretly, at least just once or twice in our lives. And with this new invention, with, new, with this new invention, you can go there whenever you want. Boom, just like that. small change. I want it all changed. I want a small change. I want a sweet change. I want a sex change. Reagan. Sex change. Reagan. Sex change. Might make you man up. Might make you stand up. 
Might make your girl up, might whip your pearl up. Penny's bunch up, your man is crunch up. Look out below, we got our sex change ray gun. Sex change ray gun. Sex change. They say the grass is greener on the other side. Imagine your demeanor when it's you who gets to decide. Sex change, sex change, Reagan. Well, sex change, sex change, Reagan. Well, sex change, sex change, Reagan. Well, sex change, sex change, Reagan. Well. so much for coming. Thank you. It was lovely to see you guys here. Hopefully we'll see you August 2nd at the Feast of St. Crispy in Monroe. We love you all. Drive safe. And uh, there you go, I guess. And buy a t-shirt. And buy a t-shirt. Sign up on the mailing list. Um, I have this kind of weird little language language trip thing. I think it comes from the trauma of being spanked as an eight-year-old by the principal. <laughs> because I came in from the I came in from the recess. I missed the second bell by that much, and 
You ever been in one of those situations where you're going to shout something because the room is full of a bunch of people shouting and they suddenly stop talking before you shout your thing and it comes out really loud? Well, I did that and I'm trundling as fast as I can and the bell rings and I get up and I, and I get to it and I've missed it. And I, I just, it just gets to me and I just say, you fuck! And in 1968, eight-year-olds got paddled for saying things like that. And so ever since then, I've had this weird little grudge thing about it and actually did a little bit of research, you know. And the, the biggest thing about it is that I find it really strange that people react so strongly to words like shit, piss, fuck, cunt. Motherfucker, all of those, all the seven dirty words. And it's like, I just imagine myself, you know, you could find groups of large, large groups of people that you could just chase around saying, fuck, 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 fuck. And, and they're so scared of it that they'd run. <laughs> it kind of makes me crazy. So one of my small missions in li life is to help the fuck revolution happen. <laughs> To continue that, because you know it's all Anglo-Saxon words. I mean, all this crap comes down from 1066 because the Normans didn't like the Anglo-Saxons speaking their native language. So when you say, pardon my French, you're saying, excuse me for not speaking the language of the overlords. So there really is a sense of the fuck revolution because we're speaking the language of the once oppressed. So... On that bright note, if you're worried about the word fuck, you should probably go for a smoke break. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not, it's a sing-along. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is about Why can't we just fuck? Why can't we just fuck? Why can't we just fuck? Just fuck, just fuck, just fuck. Why can't we just fuck? Why can't we just fuck? And be happy about it. You know that making love is heaven. Same sex is love divine.
just, 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 why can't we just, why can't we just, why can't we just, 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 why can't we just, why can't we just, why can't we just, 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 why can't we just fuck, why can't we just fuck, why can't we just fuck, just fuck, just fuck, just fuck, why can't we just fuck, why can't we just fuck, Thank you so much for Bone Poets Orchestra. Drive safe, have fun, buy a t-shirt. Have a great Sign evening. up on the mailing list. Thank you to Ryan, our amazing our person over here. And the Nick's amazing soul food, wonderful coffee guys to host us. And thank you, Nix, for doing Kevin. the door at the last minute. Nick. Because he's awesome. And Kevin. And Kevin on sound. And Kevin on sound. Thank you so much. For making it sound we good. Love you all. Leave, leave lots of tips and yeah. we'll see you sometime soon. Thank you. Thank you. Like we were all down.